Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, coming at you guys with a brand new unboxing video, and today we are taking a look at the Oculus Quest 2. Local store was having a bit of a sale, so I went ahead and picked up the 64 gig version, and we are going to go ahead and get this thing all unshrinked. Still got that nice fresh shrink wrap on there, and we are going to see what comes inside the box for the Oculus Quest 2. Now, if you are new to the channel or you just haven't yet, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below, as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I got a new video coming out. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and see what all comes in the box for the Oculus Quest 2. All right, everyone, so here you can see everything about the box. Fairly simple packaging, get a little bit of gaming advertisement, just some cardboard on the sides, nothing fancy to it. Big old Oculus words everywhere and a pull tab. Let's go ahead and take that pull tab off. Look at that, what a seamless, unshrinking experience. Fantastic, let's get that out of there. All right, now, does it just slide out? How does this open? It looks like it just slides. Let's see, maybe. Yes, it slides, but it's not the simplest slide. There, box free. Mmm, there's an O. Let's see here. Does it just lift? Uh, we have the Quest 2. And wow, this box stinks. You definitely get the uh, manufacturing scent in here. Nice. Ooh, I like that molded plastic. This would make a really nice carrying case, actually. It's very uh, rigid cardboard. I'm digging that. Here we have the newer touch controls. I forget what exactly they call these, but I'm going to call it the touch controller. Why not? Looks like you got some different settings here. From what I heard, these are a little bit wider right here than the original controllers, so that's kind of neat. Oh, look at that. It reminds you, hey, this is your right hand. And it's got a nice little pull tab right there. Okay, let's go ahead and chuck that guy back in there. What's the other side got for us? So that one had A, B. This one has X, Y. Nice clicky sticks. All right, all right. And the headset itself. Take that out. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. Not bad. I heard the head strap is actually a lot better on this one, though, for keeping it on your head. And then, oh, a little frame in case you wear glasses with it. I will not be needing that. And what do we got here? We got another box. What's in this box? Another O. And paperwork that I'll never read. And we got Type C to Type C for the charger. So that's kind of nice. Got some modern charging tech in there. Don't have to deal with any micro cables. And that's it. That's really all this has to it. That is quite nice, actually. Simple, straight to the point. Do the little pull tabs on the controllers, get them to work. And then I believe all you have to do is just sign in and you are good to go. Luckily, since it's Oculus, you can link it with any Steam games that you've already purchased and you get to play completely wireless. So that'll be awesome. I won't have to mess with any kind of sensors or anything like that. That was another big complaint I had about the original Rift. Whereas my Vive, only took up, I believe it was one, maybe two USB 3.0 ports. The original Rift took like five. I had to go buy a special hub just to get the darn thing to actually connect. And that was just for two sensors. They recommended using something like four or five sensors. So that was ridiculous. I'm glad to see they've completely ditched all the wires except for obviously charging. But yeah, awesome. Time to uh, crack this guy open and start doing some VR. So there you have it everyone. That is everything that comes inside of the box for the Oculus Quest 2. I am really excited to start messing around with this thing. The last VR headset that I actually bought outside of things like, you know, like a Google VR, like a Google Cardboard, or like the little phone headset ones was actually the original HTC Vive. Still use it to this day, but I bought that on launch. So it has been a long time. At one point, I got an Oculus Rift, didn't really care for it, wasn't really that impressed with the changes from the Vive to the regular Rift, but we're a few generations in now, so I'm really excited to check this out and to be untethered.
Now, if you all liked today's video, please let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. Now, as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.